back ladies and gentlemen to the next episode of the red Rooster series wow we are getting a nice one once again to try to get these last three kills we need on the raiders so let's go in here and do this yeah that's pretty much it that's the intro are you ready right, i didn't hear anything yet so let's get this power turned on and maybe we get lucky enough that they'll spawn in i don't know if they will because that spawn that we got but we'll see I hear them. Yep, they're coming. Are they coming through here? I don't actually know where they're at. Oh, they must be on the outside. Let me complete the quest. Now we got players to deal with. It sounds like they're using ball grenades because that grenade went off real fast when he threw it. Hmm. He may come through here, so that's why I'm just sitting where I am. Because if he does, easy kill for us. I'm using the uh, the raider to my right. It's a early warning detection system. He should come back this way. If he doesn't, that'd be kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. What's your plan, dude? Maybe he's looting? I hear him doing something. Yeah, he was reloading. Putting some ammo in. Come on. I'm going to say it behind me, by the way, in case anyone comes that way. But we have a door protecting us a little bit. I'm over capacity, otherwise I'd be moving towards him. But I don't want him to come to me. Come on. I'm actually not sure what he's doing. I think he's definitely sitting out on the other side.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> First bullet hit his head, but I guess, yeah, sure. All right, that, yeah, that's a thing, sure. Whatever, the quest is complete. I do have to say, I think we're going to stop using the MDR 762. Because no matter what build that I made so far, that thing jumps a ton. So yeah, we're, we're done building that gun. Unless someone can come up with a suggestion for me, I think I'm not going to use it anymore. Anywho, let's complete this. That's another one done. And other than this guy here, everything else isn't required for Kappa. If I remember right, we're only like two quests away, which is pretty exciting. So I have some decision making to do. I also want to point out we have 15.2 million rubles after we sold all that stuff. So there is that coolness of that. Oh, now we got to figure out what we want to do. However, I'm thinking the guide is now our plan of action now. Actually, I don't think that's what's going to be coming out with us. What I think is coming out with us is Kel Armor. Repairing that because it's completely destroyed. And then I need to look at figuring out how I can get an Alton. I don't remember seeing the, the barter trade anymore for the helmet. I don't know if that's a new thing. It has to be a new thing. Because maybe, unless you can buy it, I don't think you can. Yeah, it's just a. I don't think you can do anything with the Alton anymore. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I swear I remember you used to be able to do a barter trade. Like a long, long time ago. Unless it's it's probably hidden behind a quest. I didn't look it up because I thought I could just buy it, but that's fine. What we can do is we can come over here and go down to the bottom. Uh, we're going to buy an airframe. We're also going to buy these guys, which I need to get a 1G phone. And I need to get a CPU. Now, as per usual, before we actually do this, I need to come down to this guy here. Go down to this stuff. Put this 1G phone on me. And now we can do that deal. Cool. Could have one more shield as well. Come up here. Where's it at? Oh, it's on this guy. Okay, so we couldn't put the contacts on, which is good. Put this guy on too. This will go on. Turn this on. And then this will go on. Cool. Now we need to figure out a weapon. What do I want to bring a weapon? Or what kind of weapon I want? Why don't we go... I don't have any weapons, do I? No, I don't. I have some weapons down here, I guess, but... I'm trying to think reliability-wise, what's going to keep us alive through all this stuff? MP7 would be decent. And it has to basically be survive. We have to survive it. Uh, take the phone and put this phone away before I forget. Everything's good there. Injector case is full. I mean, I can bring the AK-101. Sure. Let's build it. So we'll hold a new right here. Let's do edits. Uh, put this guy on. Put a Vulcan on. We'll go RK3, and then we can just go this guy right there. Suppress, excuse me, suppressor. Mm, I think that's fine. Let's get this assembled. I should have the mags still for it. Uh, magazines. I do. I have all the mags. Let's get these on. Boom. Boom. And boom. I don't actually need any backpack for this. Because the whole point of this is to be surviving. I'm not planning on doing any crazy looting. Just want to get in. 
survive, and that's it. I'm going to need some grenades, and I am going to grab the ones for Peacekeeper. Good there. Contingency things. I need to get some more money. Give me some money, please. Let's go 45 or 50,000. Just to make sure that I don't run out of money at all. These are for vehicle extracts. So if I get to a vehicle extract I can take, I'm taking it. And I think I'm going to do all these at night. Think about doing all these at night, which means I can't do a face shield. So this is going to come off. Night vision is coming on. Oh, let's load this up. Good. Got that. Anything else? Oh, meds. <laughs> meds would help. Yeah, some meds would help, wouldn't that? Yeah, I think so. Click this. I'm going to grab. I'm not grabbing a grizzly because it takes the animation is a little too long. That's why I like using sailawas. So I'm going to grab two sailawas. One, two, four, five, six. Turn this on. And I think our best course of action is going to be doing labs first, then doing factory. And then at that point, it's pretty much like, I think at that point, it's pretty much we're good to go. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I will be honest with you. This episode is not going to be the funnest episode because I don't know how much I want to be like filming wise. I think I'm just going to be showing like, hey, we did this one. Moving on. We did this one. Moving on. Because <laughs> I'm not losing anything. If anything, I'm just getting like a scav kill and just kind of chilling. Because the guide is kind of annoying nowadays. Uh, I need to make sure I also grab one other thing. That's in this one? Yeah. Factory key. Do that. And I believe that's all that I needed. Okay. Oh, labs card. That would help. That would actually help. Labs card. Purchase. Put that on us. And actually, labs, I can't do nighttime, so. Face shield's actually coming in. Okay. We are going in. We are going to focus on getting a little bit of loot just to like pick up, get get the XP for it, and then probably drop it, and then take the crawling space. I think that's our, I think that's our best plan right now. So let's do this. The guy, here we go. Oh, I had an idea, and actually this is kind of a cool idea. Uh, where am I at by the way? Oh, I'm literally right now to where I want to be anyway. So we're gonna go over here. Just this thing up for people. It looks like it tells you when certain doors have been opened. There's no M M MP5 here. I was at M4, MP5 though. So here's my thought too. If I dehydrate myself, I don't care if I'm spending money doing this, it's completely fine. And I'm completely dehydrated. So I'm gonna need that because this is gonna start draining my health in a second. Which will start giving me points. Told you. This is gonna be not the coolest coolest episode ever. This is me surviving. <laughs> surviving is what I'm going to do. Take a second for dehydration to actually kick in though, so it'll be a minute. I'm listening for players though. There it is, dehydration kicking in. I should start getting some points for healing.
And this could be completely, you know, pointless to be doing, but I think it's a good idea. Now, I do plan on coming to labs. I decided that I want to get the, the 3 BTG. And a way to do that is I can, because I, I did it before, was get it from, what do you call it? It's, uh, from Santar, or not Santar. Is it Santar's office? I think Santar is like lab's office. We did it before. So we will attempt to do that. A lot of shit going on. This is completely fine. I gotta fight someone. I gotta fight someone. I'm completely fine with that. But hey, if I don't have to, it's just me surviving and talking to you guys. At least for this map. I mean, I, I, I mean, certain maps I can go around and loot a couple things here and there. But this map specifically, I just want to focus. This one in factory. Because I, I need to really focus. The other ones will be going at night, so I can be a little more ish, loosey goosey uh, in sense. But we are kind of chilling. Everything else is looking good. Surprised someone's actually activated the. or tried to come down the stairs to turn it on. So far, the medical block elevator has been on, has been turned on. The parking garage has been on. So yeah. Also, FPS is looking pretty good in this place. 117 FPS. And this is with the the 2080 Super right now. I'm curious, you know, if it's going to get any better than this when we get the the 3080 Ti. Maybe, it may just get better. Now, I just need like seven minutes of survival time, that's all. And then I can leave anyway, but still. Just precaution to get that extra XP. Oh, there's literally nothing out here. Ought to be something. Nothing on there. I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but... I don't have a group of friends doing this together, so I need to... do it the best way that I feel like I can do it for right now. About another minute and a half, and then we're good. Now, the other way we could do it too is healing it without the propanol, and then using like the Salawa, because then I could slowly but surely give us some more health too, or more health points, I should say. It's worth. We can take a look at the stats in a second too. But there goes the propanol. It's still gonna heal us for a little bit. But not for, for much longer. I'm going to go, because I have the, re the recording obviously going. I'm going to give it to 7 minutes and, let's say 7 minutes and 10 seconds. And then we'll exit and then do some research on the actual, like, stats. But I think we'll be just fine. It seems like everyone's upstairs doing their fighting thing. It's all good. I think we need a decent amount of health. Healing from this. No, oh, I don't get XP for that actually. Okay, well, I did two points of healing, so uh, probably why I didn't give us any. But another 30 seconds, and then we'll do some, some science looking at numbers. I believe this is the best option for us for weapons. I do feel like it is. Out. All right, four, three, two, one. Let's get the heck out of here. I 
I heard that door open for a minute. I was like, oh, here we go. In theory, everything should be good. That was seven minutes and 30 seconds inside the raid. 677 XP. Let's see. XP wise. Uh, next screen, right? Yeah, here. So, exploring bonus, we got 300 XP. Treating, okay, so treating only gave us 160 XP. You need 400 something, I believe, to actually. Okay, so that was kind of worth it, actually. Just what we needed. Not bad. Let's uh, let's get our. Well, actually, we can keep the water down since we're gonna get into the propital anyway. And let's head over to the next map. Oh, this is perfect. Figure this one, he's gonna kill, and then we can leave. You guys can't see anything, but I can. Ooh, ha, ha. See how this guy going to come forward? I'll take that as a no. That is enough XP. Two scavs, get it out, get the kills from it. Primo, Primo Factorio, get the heck out of here. We'll take it. I think one would have actually been enough. As you know, it would not have been, or one would not have been enough, so, yeah, I'm glad I actually did that. But we got the, also the escape bonus on that one. On to the next one. And we're at the next location, which I'm literally just going to go this way. <laughs> Hopefully something doesn't come this direction. We'll see. Plan is going to go to the Kilmaw Street. And hopefully you can like see your scab or two just to kill him. That's the plan. <laughs> Let's just keep an eye out. Because there is a spawn over here, so I, yeah, that's what the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Running someone over here. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait a tiny bit in between like runs. Because the uh, the time is about to go daytime. Ooh, we also switched up the rig. Forgot to point that out. So we're using the MPP, MPPB now. So I can do a little looting like this. And it gets us a little tiny bit of XP. In case I don't see like, you know, scabs or whatever to shoot. Let's see, I think there's a little thing in the middle here. Keep moving. And everything else is like damage house and yeah, damage house, crash site. This one, probably our best bet, I believe. Because although I have to shoot off a giant flare, it's uh, still, I feel like, the safest path. I think we'll be fine though. Oof. Let's 
streets, you laggy son of a gun. Head over to the left here. I'm more than happy to take my time. I mean, we don't need to rush this at all. I expect that when we get over to the mall, we'll probably end up having a couple scabs we can shoot anyway. As, like I said, was, I brought the, the idea of like, the MPVV just in case I had to do some looting. Because you know how sometimes the scabs can act. Sometimes they won't spawn in, sometimes they will. Just like, I, know, I feel like sometimes, some days I feel like I'm tossing a coin in the air. Oh, it's really far away. Okay. Never mind. We're good. I was like, that sounds really, really close. I can kill this guy, though. Alright, that's one kill. Oh, there's some behind us. He's inside the office. Office where we do all of our looting, by the way. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. I thought I, I, thought I saw a scab in there, but pretty sure I'm just losing it. Stick to the edge. So far, so good. I'm trying to get the more, like, da dangerous ones out of the way. This would definitely be classified as one of the dangerous ones. Make sure I'm hearing the sniper above us. I don't want to cross over there, but I do want to kill this scab above us. So we're going to come over here. I should be able to see him. Yep. But he can also see me, so I need to back up a little bit. I like this exit better because it's a lot closer and you can hide behind this versus going out in the middle of the street. But yeah, that should be more than enough XP. Two, two uh, sniper kills plus a little bit of looting and exiting right through the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the kill off street. Let's just triple check. It won't count against us if we don't get it. Oh yeah, we definitely had enough. Probably similar situation, looting, yeah. Similar sort of situation, when you inflict a heavy damage, nice. You know, you even got extra damage for, or extra XP for doing, inflicting extra damage. Sure, that's cool. All right, on to the next one. Okay. This is kind of probably the worst spawn we could have gotten. I think it is actually the worst spawn we could have gotten. Uh, how do I want to do this? Ugh. I don't really know, because we either got to take the right hand side all the way up or hope that the vehicle extracts here. I think I heard movement. movement but maybe not let's just get to the left hand side of the street let's keep moving luckily this map is pretty dark so night vision comes in very useful for us however this is gonna 
This is like 4.40 in the morning, so we kind of have to get moving a little bit because the sun will start to come up soon. And we'll have to, uh, we'll have to chill before the other maps come up. The night map is definitely the way to go. Every little bit of noise, man. Makes me go, huh? Also, I completely forgot how many new maps there are in this game. It always rem it, it, it always surprises me how many maps we got. We still have, after this... I think we have six maps after this still to go. Because we have... Interchange... Oh, okay, I already forgot what I'm looking at. Interchange, we've got Shoreline, Reserve... Sh okay, wait. Interchange, Shoreline, Reserve... Lighthouse. I feel like I'm missing one. I'm probably missing one. I can't think of it right now. Yeah, maybe I don't. Maybe that was it. Maybe we only have four more after this. Yeah, because Streets of Tarkov would have been the other one. for everything. I don't even want to mess with people doing the dorms right now, so I'm going to try to like skirt all the way down the middle of this road here. And just keep walking all the way down. Just listening out, looking out for anything. It is very quiet though, I haven't heard any shots whatsoever. There's obviously people on the map, so. But we're looking okay for right now. Progress is looking decent. I think once we get past this one, interchange and reserve. Oh, and woods. Woods is the other one. So five. Yeah, five maps we have, we have left to do. That was the map I was losing my mind on. Woods. But once we get past interchange, reserve, and this map, I think we'll be fine. I don't know if that's a scab or a player. I know the scabs do check their mags, but... Could be a player too. Well, no, I'm not seeing anything. Keep moving. I think I need to get some food and water for this for our guy afterwards. Not that it really matters. I have to wait like 30-ish minutes, 30, 40 minutes before the next night cycle comes around. So we'll have time. Keep on moving through. Now I can definitely obviously bring the paracord for Reserve. That's another way we'll get out. 
or using like the manhole that will be another way we can get out there's a few options on that map don't really have a lot for and, and also for layout so we can do that but we don't really have a lot of options when it comes to like interchange we'll have to basically take the hole in the wall uh that would most likely be our safest option there is the vehicle extract though like if we spawn next to the vehicle extract we'll probably take that out Looking good so far we just gotta get all the way down to the end get around the corner get that exit and we are looking gucci And at this point, I'm I'm kind of happy to go and hunt down, uh, what's his name, uh, Sanitar, just to finish this up. I don't think that sniper's gonna see me. Oh, you know what? I need to reload this. <laughs> I forgot that I hadn't reloaded the gun from last uh, from last raid, so. Let's reload so we have a full mag just in case. The black key card, like I said, is not really on my priority list right now. We can always just either buy it or get it or get it through the barter with was it no, I think it was Gunsmith Part 5 or 25? Yeah. So we just had to complete that, which means we're going to have to come on more often, which I'm sure you guys will enjoy. Versus me having to find labs cars and inevitably have to search forever to try to find the B3 TG, which I think I have to kill Santar anyway. Yeah, it won't matter at the end of the day. I have to kill Santar anyway. But as we discussed, if we do it beforehand, then obviously we fail the other quests and we lose the chance to get a black key card. So, do I really care that much for it? Not really. Would be cool? Sure. It'd basically be like a souvenir. I was thinking about this earlier. I know I, I said that I want to go for the 3 feet BTG when I said I want to do more labs, but I may just do labs to just do labs to learn a little bit and worry about the key card situation later. Since we are so close, so close to Kappa, and I just want to get the Kappa thing over with so we can focus on other stuff for the, for the game and just have fun with it, you know? Not that I'm not having fun. Let me clarify that. I am having fun. <laughs> just a just a different type of fun. How about that? We'll say it like that. Nothing over there. Alright. To the bunker we go. Or bunker entrance, I should say. Yeah, we're definitely about 10 minutes in, so we'll have all the XP needed. Looking good, looking good. Whew! Longest walk ever across that map. <laughs> that always feels so long. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Alright, let's do this. We need to get... Yeah, try to get at least two kills if we can. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, actually. Two kills and then we can get out of here. I prefer to do it just so I can try to get out of here as soon as possible. And we can always wait the seven minutes, obviously, but let's get moving. Try the outskirt here. If we can get to like the white uh white knight in the black knight area, I would think we can run to like two scabs over there. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, I want to point out this is like halfway through the the guy at the moment and at this point we're rocking the 3080 ti so yeah hopefully it looks a lot smoother smoother than normal kind of what i'm hoping for i can tell you performance wise it's been fantastic like on streets i did a test quickly on an offline raid and it seems like not everywhere but most of the part i went from like 50 fps to like almost 90 fps which is amazing yeah, this is pretty amazing. I'm so happy I got that upgrade. It's been helping out so much. It's just so much more smoother. 
You know, 144 hertz monitor actually could be useful now, <laughs> which is kind of nice, especially when I'm running 116 right now on reserve, which is great. Be careful. Obviously, I gotta watch out for players here. Any scabs? But you know what? I should probably not be doing this. Let's get inside and walk along here. But we're definitely gonna take the manhole. Manhole, and then we'll get out of here. I guess I could take it all the way down. All right. Well, be careful. Let's be careful. Zoom out. We'll chill for a second. I'm gonna do some looting in this little tiny area until we can, we can hopefully find something. Check over here. Obviously, don't want to make too much noise. Well, hello there. I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> well, that's worth getting, you know. I can tell you that. I went back to the uh, the Black Rock. Didn't I didn't feel like we needed really need to worry about too much of it. MPVV was nice, but it was like it was starting to weigh me down, and I wanted, like I was saying, I wanted to say we're the point where we weren't being over like loud. So toss the MPVV because it was getting too close, especially if I decided to do looting like this, just to save a little more room. Driver, take the money. We may end up just having to wait. But not a huge deal. We only got like four minutes. We get uh, we got to wait anyway. Anything else there? I do not like how quiet it is right now, though. Any ammo, anything I can loot here? No, let's go back to the garage then. Check this out. I didn't bring any keys with me, so I don't have any way to actually get inside of some of these rooms. I'm gonna do my best to obviously not blind you guys. Where the heck is all the loot? Oh, there's no bags or anything in here? What the? What about over here? Nothing. I'm get nothing. Oh, alright. Empty garage, empty garage. I didn't expect that. Usually there's like duffel bags and like loose loot all along here. So, a bit strange we didn't actually have anything. But, then again, we got. Oh, I literally missed the toolbox. Alright, well, we'll do this. That's what, I guess it, what happens when you're using the. What do you call it? The. Dynamic looting. That's the word I was trying to find. It is getting bright though. We're at about 4.30 in the morning right now, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for the next raid, definitely for a night raid. I mean, we could try a daytime raid, but obviously I feel like running a nighttime map, you're uh, you're getting le less people to actually like, try to come fight you. Which is somewhat of the goal. I would like to just avoid players as much as possible for this, just so we can get through it. There's nothing there. Nothing down there. Hmm. Oh, duffel bag. Take this, take this. I thought maybe about um, taking in the paracord, but I'm like, if I bring the paracord in, but then I gotta drop my uh, my armor, which I didn't insure it, so <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. Nothing on there. I think I might actually, before we go into the next raid, I'm going to make sure I ensure everything again. Or not again, but just make sure I ensure stuff. 
All right, we got 30 seconds, and then we'll get out of here. Don't like I don't like silent raids because you just it's just like you got players that could be creeping around anywhere. <clears throat> that guard shack that's behind, behind us to our left, that also kind of like worries me that someone's like sitting there because there's like a spot where you can sit in there and like perfectly watch the uh, the exit behind us, the man or the manhole. Not that people really do that anymore. I feel like that's kind of gone away for the most part. But you never know. Take the time. Three seconds. get the heck out of here I think we're gonna go to I think interchange next interchange should be a pretty easy one I just gotta basically take the outside area it should be fun so let's go do that this is probably the better spawn to get considering all the other ones we could have got I'm gonna run as fast as I can though this way I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the underneath over here and see if we can spot like two scabs if we can get two scabs then we pretty much can like take the underground on all the way across unless I really want to risk it and go well let you know railway would be would be our exit so I'm gonna have to take the whole new one so yeah I'm gonna go through here see if we can find two scabs and then we will book it for the hole in the wall and of course listen out for players all along the way Let's keep an eye out for the most part we're looking good because even maps like Shore or not Shoreline. Well, yeah, technically Shoreline. Shoreline Woods, those two are gonna be probably the easier ones because there's just so much open space you can for the most part get away with not having to worry about players too much. Yeah, for the most part. Uh but uh, there's also ooh, that's nice. I'll take another one of those. Actually, I should take everything for the XP. Take all this for the XP. Uh, but we also have uh, Lighthouse, which Lighthouse I think will be, will be very easy because there's so many different ways to exit from that map. We should be fine. Oh, here's Scavs. Like, you can literally spawn by the, what do you call it, uh, the South Road exit and take the South Road exit. It's weird. I mean, we'd have to wait the full, like, seven minutes, but still. At the end of the day, like... If that's what we're trying to accomplish. It's kind of nice. I don't like the way I'm doing this right now, but if I can find those scabs early, then we'll be fine. And there should be two of them up here. And we can always just, you know, take the walkway down. Count for anything. Wait, where? Bullum, bullum, blood! You bash you off! Alright, that was one. Is there another one? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? No, 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 no. Instead of having to like search for the other scav, I can do a little more looting along the way here. Take the underground in the middle, and then we'll be good. So that is not easy to see right now. <laughs> Definitely not easy to see. There should be enough items along the way for me to loot that it won't like compromise us in any way. Plexiglass again, just take everything for the XP. Doesn't necessarily mean we we have to keep it, obviously. I have a feeling this episode is going to be a little bit longer than normal, which is fine at the end of the day, I suppose. But, yeah, I, uh, I'm kind of expecting to be a little bit longer. Yeah, this should be fine here. Just that initial, like, like fog area coming in. It's like you can't see to the end. I am listening, uh, obviously, for players. I haven't heard any shooting, so maybe Killa's not here? I don't know. Then again, customs was very quiet. Labs not so much. And even like even factory, when we were on factory, factory wasn't even that loud. We we heard like maybe one or two shots and that was it. Most of the shots were us. Like killing like the scabs that we killed. Mm, can't take the hammer. 
Not see any scabs moving at the end over there. There are some stuff that, that we can loot down here, so we'll head down here. Over here. Yep, nope. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. It doesn't take that much XP to, to actually get out of you after the one kill. If we didn't find scab, then it would definitely take a little bit longer. But again, even if we didn't, we're two and a half minutes away from the seven minute mark anyway. Take all that. Flashlight. Mine. There's another box over here. No, no, there's not. Okay. All right, I do believe we have enough XP with the promoted looting we just did, plus all the killing. So, let's head to the hole in the wall. Either two, either one or two things is gonna happen. <laughs> either you're gonna see me on, uh, what, what map will we be going next after this one? Either you're gonna be seeing me on Lighthouse, or you're going to see me back on in Interchange again, running it again because of the run through, which doesn't fail the quest, so it's fine. Careful here. All right, we'll see. We'll see where we're gonna be. Okay. Oh, this a weird spawn. Uh, I guess we'll go to the village. Yeah. Then we can take the shoreline and exit out, which will be funny enough because we'll be coming from this map to shoreline, and then probably be end up taking the lighthouse exit to come back to the lighthouse. It's kind of funny how that works. Anywho. We are heading out once again. Be careful of the turrets. Don't need to be blowing up here from, you know, scabs. Although it's nighttime, so the raiders shouldn't really actually see us too much. I, was, I said scabs, I meant raiders. Uh, I meant rogues. But I also mentioned it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> Although it, it also could be why it's very quiet for us too. Which, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of nice. Last thing I need is to go through playing all these maps. Oh, I heard something more right there's maybe someone around here. Um yeah, last thing I need to do is go run through all these maps and then it take us like fifteen hundred hours to do and they have a crazy amount of like people run around. New key? Oh well. i have I not found that key? What the heck? Well, whatever. But it makes my life a little bit easier, the fact that we are doing this early in the morning. There's not as many people on the East Coast playing right now, which is nice. Let's take a look. What else we can get? In case we cannot get, you know, actual scab or player kills, we need to loot up. There's, there's a decent amount around here. Watch out for anything. Because as we all know, like, it sucks to die in the first, like, three maps of doing the guide. Like, it does. It's like, oh, man. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I've accomplished this part. This is amazing. You know, let's, let's continue. We got the three maps out of the way. Now we can kind of, like, move forward. And, of course, on the opposite side of all this, we get to the end, like we're getting to. Or we only have three maps left to finish. And if we die now. So like a scab maybe. If I die now, there may be some choice words that I use. The XP from all this. Shunka. Wait, where? Are you in the bush? I like how the scab can see me, but I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
Nice. All right. Good enough. Let's get out of here. Move it. I made a lot of noise right there, so I may have people coming at me now. Screw the loot. We come back for loot later after we finish the guide. I'm excited, because that means... Oh, shoot. Oh, I actually don't know where you're at, because there's a big light in my face. Ow! Did I mention I hate scavs? There we go. <laughs> well, he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Shout out to the armor, which is doing impeccable right now. I don't even think he's even touching the armor. I think it's just like ricocheting, which is great. <laughs> I'll take that every day of the week. Now, yeah, after we finish up the guide, which I'm knocking on wood right now, thank God my desk is wood. If we complete this, this means we have two quests left. Test drive and we have to get, I think it's Sanders kill. That's it. I, I, from everything I've read, we're only two off. Cross your fingers, because I'm hoping it is. All right. But we're finished up with this one. I believe, let's go back and check. Wish so I don't die. Yes, I brought in a bunch of SJ6. So that way we can run for the next couple maps. But let's do this. Let's get the heck out of here. Lord Shoreline. Okay. It is time to do this. Also, this means I need to pop an HJ6. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Good. All right. We've got to basically run across this whole entire map. Be careful I'm not being spotted because obviously Shoreline is sniper central. So I'm going to try to stay along the edges. Yeah, basically take this edge all the way to the other side of the map. Can I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Run test purposes at the moment. However, I do feel a little bit confident with the armor that we're wearing. The only thing is I'm not very confident right now with is the helmet. Yeah, the helmet. Helmet's the only thing that's worrying me right now because obviously it's good. Airframe's great and it has a decent ricochet chance and whatnot. But M62 wise and M80s, it's still gonna hurt. <laughs> Maybe if we get lucky, well, if it's, even if it's an LPS, LPS being messes up a decent amount. But you know, we're just not gonna think about getting hit. Yeah, how about that? You know, we'll focus on not getting shot or being seen. Anyway. I think at this point, because this is going to take me a very long time to get across this map, way longer than it should. I say this because I, I kind of hope one day they'll institute like a kind of like how they have the boat entrance by the pier or the pier boat. I'm hoping one day they're going to institute an exit on this side, like how they used to have the green smoke. It'd be kind of nice if they bring that back. Just saying. Huh. Anywho, I'm going to speed this up. So, it's going to be probably a little bit of a time lapse here. So that way I'm not, you know, boring you guys to death for the next six minutes as I cross across this map. Probably going to end up using two SJ6s now I think about it. Could be worse. Let's do this. something in front of us we got some shooting going on oh there goes the sj6 let's come over more to the right so i heard a, a mosin and i don't know what it was maybe a the pp91 maybe it didn't sound loud whatever the secondary gun was that was firing off i wonder if they're killing the scabs like over here at the bridge if they are they ran our way, so we're gonna have to deal with them. Come up here. 
we need to do a quick scan. Yep. Scav is dead. So that means there is someone around here. Anyone down here? It's like nearly impossible to actually see down there at the moment, so. Looks like we're getting closer. Let's try to be a little bit cautious about this, but again, I don't know where this dude's gonna be. I also don't think he had the Mosin. Pretty sure, obviously, the scav sniper had the Mosin, and then he had the other gun. What other gun that was, I do not know. Why, why did my FPS counter turn off? Turn back on. Thank you. I want to see the amazing frames I'm getting on these maps. Uh, obviously, he doesn't see that person, but we got to take him out because he'll see us. I was hoping that someone wouldn't have been over here so we can kill both the snipers ourselves to get the XP, but then I also remembered for as far as of a distance we're running, I don't think we have to worry about XP at all. It'll be just fine. Okay, it's just a scab. We're good. I don't want to shoot anymore in case this dude is around here play a little safe and it's not like I had FPS performances too much on this map I really wish I would have ran like a test on the on this uh, map before I ended up installing the uh, 3080 Ti but it's all good I think I will actually pop another SG6 because I'm planning on zooming out of this map let's go So yeah, I mean, it would have been kind of cool to see the performance changes. The biggest thing is, oh no, there's that Mosin again. The biggest thing is that like, we got the graphics card upgrade, which is amazing. Now the plan's gonna be probably not for November, because like so basically the way YouTube paychecks work is that like for September paycheck gets paid out in October, but like close to the end of the month, yada yada yada, and same thing. So October's will get paid out in November later on. The goal, you know, talking with the better half is, you know, obviously I want to try to improve the gear that we have so we can improve the video content we can make for you guys. I do plan on getting the new CPU and a new motherboard at some point, but probably won't happen until like, I want to say either December or it won't happen until January. Most likely January. When we have a bump in views again, when, ha when the next wipe happens, which will be in December, I'll have to wait until January, but... When that happens, then we obviously know that we'll be able to afford these things. I also have to really be careful because of tax season coming up. I have to pay taxes. 15%. Yay! <laughs> so, I gotta make sure that I'm saving money for tax season. But, I do want to upgrade things. Obviously, if I'm upgrading my, my CPU, I need to upgrade the motherboard. Well, yeah, the motherboard diaper definitely is going to need an upgrade because I won't be able to support the one I want. I want to get an i9 I, I is what I'm looking at right now. I don't know quite which i9 I want to do. I'm going to do some theory crafting with a buddy of mine for the computers and see if we can build a computer that will basically last me for the next like three to four years without having to upgrade crazy amount of stuff. And if I, you know, if I want to upgrade to like a, a 4090 at some point or whatever the next one's going to come out, if I can, if I could do that in the future, basically be able to make that happen. <laughs> right now, can't do so much. All right, let's get out of here. Over the corner. All right. Let's head out to the next map. And our last map, Woods. Apparently, Woods is raining. So, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to guess I got behind the scab house. Oh, crap. Go the other way. Nope, I know exactly where we're at now. We do not want to go that way. I didn't even see the sign. No, we are by we are by the scab house. Oh my lands up. How to end a uh, <laughs> the guide map. Or sorry, the, the the guide quests in two seconds. 
By blowing yourself up. <laughs> That's how. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, at least they're not the mines like they are on... I think the other ones are claymores. Technically, the, cl uh, the claymores that are over on... Streets. Because those ones, like, instantly kill you. The landmines here are a little more forgiving. They don't kill you instantly. I am really hoping that... When we get over here to the exit, that there will be some scabs over by the FOV. That's what I'm hoping for. And then I'm also hoping for the roadblock to be open. But once we get full stamina, I am going to run. Run, 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 run. Get the heck out of this map. Alright, pop this. SJ6. Get the initial energy back. And run. The rain should also help, you know, muffle some sounds from us while we're running, which is nice. But it is time to get out of here. And by the time, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try not to shoot anything. I'm gonna try to just get to the other side of the map, because by the time I get over there, it should be close to the seven minute mark anyway. Let's keep on moving. But anyway, like I was saying before, um, on Shoreline, yeah, we are, we are trying to get all these upgrades done, you know, little at a time i also want to get a second monitor for the for the main computer i only have one single monitor so i'm, I'm constantly having to like either tab or like turn my left go to my other computer to take, take a look at something we all know that's inefficiency that we don't like so i'm definitely looking to make some changes coming up here in the new year 2024 i obviously want to just keep blasting out videos for you guys we're also looking at getting the second channel up and running for other games so, you know, look out for that. I'm also trying to, uh, you know, explore other things out for the main channel that I think you guys will enjoy. Because as much as I don't really play DayZ very often, that's probably the, like the, other than Tarkov, DayZ is probably the second game that people consistently, well, excuse me, that was weird, uh, are consistently, you know, asking me to play. So we will look at doing that for the main channel. And then the secondary channel, we'll do the other games that I've been looking at, looking to do. Keep an eye out for anything. I don't know what games yet we're gonna put up on the second channel right away. I will be linking it, uh, the channel in about. I don't even know what day it is today. Today is probably the 29th, maybe 29th or the 30th of October. Most likely, like, coming up here in November, I'm going to be posting the second channel so you guys can subscribe to that. And then, you know, hopefully we get to a thousand subscribers by that time. Right, four minutes. Maybe I peek my head in here real quick. It's, again, quiet and kind of okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. Kind of okay. Dude, the scab came out of nowhere. Well, keep moving. Don't stop at this point. I obviously cannot see green smoke from this distance, so I'm going to have to go all the way over to it. Please be on. I would hate to have to run the other side. But if I have to, I have to. Check over here. No, smoke is not on. Okay. Well, well, are you on the other side of the tank? What? Oh, you are. All right. Well, we definitely have enough XP now. Now we gotta get to the exit over here. Let's get moving. We're almost done. We're literally on the cusp of finishing up this quest. This last one, and then we can get out of here. It's kind of a bittersweet thing, though, because the guides always like that quest. At least for me, that it's like the most frustrating one, or at least it can be the most frustrating one if you have really bad luck. I somewhat planned out this this thing perfectly. This somewhat planned it out perfectly. So, 
Yeah, we were discussing before how we want to make sure that oh, I saw something over here. We want to make sure that we're doing this kind of like in the early in the morning for me at least because this is how I film anyway. So like there wouldn't be as many players around so I could just run through these maps basically. And then to just basically having luck. But that's what it comes down to. Just, just having like dumb luck to survive this long. And the fact that no one's shooting right now makes me feel like everyone else is like skirting the map. I was also worried about running into cultists. That was my biggest thing was like, if I run into a cultist, it's over with half, like half the time. Like I've seen some certain cultists like at Shoreline a few times and I know where they spawn now. So that was why I can, I knew I could avoid them. But like woods, I forgot to look it up. I think they spawn over the far, far corner though by the ritual spot. So I think we were fine no matter what, but we're here. We've made it and we've completed the guide. All right, we're gonna make this a very quick thing, but we are going to finally turn in this quest. You get rid of it. The cleaner comes up. Cleaner? I don't remember the cleaner before. The minute Raiders on reserve. I'm pretty sure this isn't Kappa related. Oh, okay. Now we just need to go and do test drive, part one, and then Jaeger. I have to make a choice whether I want to work on therapist quests or not. I'm probably not. Honestly, at this point, we're getting so close to the to the, the cap container. I may just go straight for sand to our next episode, and we'll probably end up using the M1A to do it. But we'll see how we decide to do this. But I'm gonna get out of here because that was a very, very, very long, like long, long time to get through the guide. So. We're going to end it here. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Red Rich series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. And if you haven't yet, subscribe, the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.